Hi guys, it's October 21st and today I am planting some fall plants. Um, I got jujube and a, uh, I think it's a fuyu. It may not be a fuyu. Hold on. Let's see what it is. Da, 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 Matsumoto! Yeah, so basically a hard per, a persimmon. What I wanted was a persimmon that you could eat like an apple. I, I don't like them so much when they're mushy, but I love firm persimmon that you can eat and doesn't make your mouth pucker. So I got Matsumoto and I got a jujube, which this is my second attempt. I thought if I'd stick it in the chicken yard that it might be a little happier because it seems like everything that's in the chicken yard seems to be happier. <laughs> obvious, for obvious reasons. Um, so we're going to give that a shot. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, so this fig bush, I don't know if it's going to happen before frost, but look at the size of these puppies. And these aren't even ripe yet. When they get ripe, they get like twice the size. So this will end up being like, <laughs> if it makes it to ripeness, it'll be like that big. It'll be insane. It'll fit in my whole entire palm. So there you go. But if a frost comes, that's going to be the end of that. The end of that. So we ended up cutting down a, you can see the stump right there. There was a rootstock plum that I had grafted, oh, what was it, hardy almonds, uh, and it didn't take, but the rootstock lived, and, you know, it, they were growing really, really tall, and it had gotten to the point where it was actually blocking the solar panels from getting the full sun. So this Matsumoto and this... Uh, jujube should not be causing that problem. So they've been added to the pile. I can't wait. Yay. Forever Foods Farm. Signing out. Bye.